Hey guys, my name is Mando. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing about another trend that is going to happen next month. It sounds like a dumb trend, but trust me, I don't think it really is because this is going to be an easy trend anyways. And we're also going to be talking about the upcoming bug fixes, buffs, and nerfs that have been um, in the files, as well as yesterday's patch, which was fixed with the bugs. So yeah, there you go. Anyways, if you do enjoy the content, make sure you hit that like button, and we're on the road to 500 subs, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's get into it. So first things first, we gotta discuss about next month's big old event, just like no Apex August, but this one, I think it's a little bit better. The name just sounds pretty dumb. It's called No Spending September. Now this description says, so no Apex August did not work out because of the new season. So how about No Spending September? where we don't spend any money on Apex in September, what do you guys think? I honestly think it's a stupid idea, but no one really spends money on the game anyway, so yeah, um, we should not be able to do no spending September since everyone else has been doing it. But I do not know, let, let me know what you guys think down below. Um, honestly, I think it's a dumb trend again but let's keep it going so yesterday's patch update as well too came out yesterday and this has been an issue for a while for arenas but we're going to discuss it right now so players occasionally unable to upgrade weapons are in arenas which that's a good thing now that they have fixed it next up collecting a banner when wearing the seer heart throb and rampart wasteliner skin or heat throb actually it says causes a crash so yeah it does cause a lot of server crashes and all that so i guess that's probably a good fixable to vantage cannot use a ko shield when knocked while using her tactical jump yes i've been asking for this thing to be fixed for a while some good fix right there and last but not least vantage range indicator disappears after respawn so finally they fixed that as well too i never even knew that was an issue but it's probably a good fix but speaking of the first topic no spending september i thought i can go ahead and just say that the whole collection event is one month long so it's gonna start like towards the end of september and towards the end of october but I, if it is one month long and the rumors are true, then that means we're going to have a whole Halloween event for one whole month until season 15. Like, that's something right there. So that means we're probably not going to be getting any new things like the Halloween event being a arcade event. It's just going to be another collection event slash arcade event, let's just say. But the heirloom will be Loba's heirloom as usual as well as these two skins right here, Ash being one of them, but this skin has been removed from the files. And Seer, I don't know if this is gonna be a Halloween event or just another collab skin. And now last but not least, the ALGS um, store, whatever you wanna call it, but they have new cosmetics as well too, just like these brand new um, hollow sprays that have been um, decrypted or like data mined as well too as well as this crypto skin and this prowler skin yeah i think they're gonna be nice as well too especially for year three and i'm pretty sure year three is gonna start very late because there has not been an announcement at all for year three of the apex legends global series let me know what you guys think down below in the comments as well as your opinions i'm all up for it Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.